Hello, this is Katherine Dubberly, the Answer Lady. I'm a big fan of Kiss Looms. I greatly enjoy mine. And I am cooperating with Kelly at Kiss Looms to make you a playlist of all the basic techniques that you might ever want to know on all of the looms. So welcome and enjoy. Here's where the two styles are going to diverge. We've already decided how many rows to knit. If you find that you need help figuring out how many rows to knit, go over the math I just showed you, or if you get desperate, email me and I'll help you. So I'm going to knit this one to fit an adult, and if I'm going to make a plain stockinette hat, I'm just going to begin U-wrapping and knit 26 rows of the U-wrapped knit stitch. And that will result in a hat just like this one, but a couple inches longer. However, what I'd really like to knit this time is the cabled version of the hat. So we're going to still knit 26 rows, but on each side of this loom, and you can do it on another loom if you do the math and position your cables correctly, but on this loom there are 12 stitches on each side. So the positioning the cables will be very simple. The four center stitches, easy to find because of the construction of the loom, will be knit stitches that we involve in the cable. The stitch to either side of those will be a purl stitch to set off the cable. If you want it set off more dramatically still, you can do purl stitches. Additional purl stitches, I mean, one more on either side. But I'm going to do three knit stitches, one purl stitch, followed by four knit stitches, one purl stitch, oops, that's that should be my fourth knit stitch, shouldn't it? One purl stitch, and three more knit stitches. And now we'll knit these over and we'll do the next side in exactly the same manner, and that will be row one. So let's all do that and get together after row one is completed. And remember, if you're knitting the plain stockinette hat, just keep knitting with you wrap and stop after you have achieved the length that you want, but before beginning the crown shaping, and we'll all do that together. Row one is now complete, and if you get lost, just look for your initial yarn tail. When your working yarn gets back to meet your yarn tail, you have finished a complete round. So, like counting rows, no need for stress and mystery. Every odd-numbered row, rows number three, five, seven, and so forth, will be just like the row number one that we did. Here come the even-numbered rows. This is where we cross stitches. The first part of it is the same, knit, 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 purl. If you were using two purl stitches here, it would be knit, knit, purl, purl. Knit, but the row two and every fourth row thereafter are going to have the center two stitches crossed. So I made a little extra room for crossing by e-wrapping them. We're not going to leave those stitches e-wrapped, but you'll see what happens. Knit. So now we have four knit stitches, but they're knitted in two styles. Purl. And finish with three knits. Or purl, purl, and finish with two knits if you want a double column of purl stitches to set off your cable. Let's get these knitted over. Now, here we come to the four center stitches, which are involved in the cable. But the first row of the cable, only the two center ones cross. Now, unwrap that E-wrap. And now all you've got is a slightly lengthened regular knit stitch. Just because E-wrap going around there takes more yarn. I'm going to lift this one off 
I could put it on that pin to hold it if I wanted to, or another tool, or my fingertips. And I'm going to cross the right one, put it on the left peg, and the left one, and put it on the right peg. The row after this will be a little bit tighter than usual on those two stitches because that cross tightened things up. But because we e-wrapped it, it should only be a little tight, not a misery. Just to make sure you've got it, let's do that again. Knit, 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 purl. Remember, if you prefer your purling hook, you may use it. Regular knit stitch, e-wrap knit stitch, e-wrap knit stitch, regular knit stitch, purl. Three more knits. By the way, this loom is two of the little introductory modular looms that Kelly sells at KISS made into one big loom. I have a um, video on putting two together like that. So you can make yourself one very inexpensively if you want. Center two stitches were e-wrapped, so we're going to release that e-wrap. Hang that stitch on a pin for safekeeping. Release this e-wrap. Cross it right over left. Rescue this one from the pin that was keeping it. And cross it to the other peg. And rehang it. This is row 2. It will also be rows 6, 10, 14, and every fourth row until we finish the cabled panels.